Sir, what is analytics? Please explain us. Analytics is the way we extract oil and we transform oil into products. Mm -hmm. So we transform oil into something usable. In and when it comes to, um, is it fit for everybody? So I understand, but what do you teach in the class then? Like, well, you know, uh, we are a, a school of management, mm -hmm. a school of business. So the key point uh, is that we teach business analytics. So we teach uh, uh, enough to be aware of how to transform that into information without being uh, and without pushing uh, uh, towards uh, uh, become data scientist, data analyst. So it's uh, definitely for everybody. All right, hi everyone. Welcome on board. Let's get the party started. Today we're going to have uh, Professor Polly with us. Polly heads the, he's the director of the IMB program at SD Bocconi. Sir, welcome on board. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir, nice to be here. The same here, sir. Pleasure to have you on board, sir. Uh, uh, is a senior professor of quants and also has been adjunct of uh, stats and analytics. Today we're going to talk about analytics. Is analytics just a buzzword? Do you need to learn this? It's a bread and butter for sir. Yeah. What kind of roles you guys can get? Is it the right field to be chosen? Or you should just diss this field and don't do anything about it. Today we're going to talk about that. Hi sir, let's begin. Sir, what is analytics? Please explain us. Well, you know, uh, if uh, we believe to uh, the, this famous sentence, data is the new oil, mm. and if we screen the top capitalized company in the world, yeah. they are leveraging on data. Analytics is the way we extract oil and we transform oil into products. Mm -hmm. So we transform oil into something usable, into gasoline and so on. So analytics is nowadays, and with, uh, of course, artificial intelligence, this is uh, uh, also more uh, uh, push forward. But analytics is nowadays the way we use one very, very, very important asset in a company. Mm. And data, uh, it's a definitely important asset. If you think about a company like uh, Google, yeah, uh, Alphabet, yeah. or you think about Microsoft, or you think about, even if you think about NVIDIA for a way, because yeah. uh, in, the, in the end, they're producing the hardware to transform oil into, to transform data, data. into information, because yes. that's our task, to transform data into information. Super. That's lovely. And when it comes to, um, is it fit for everybody? So I understand, but what do you teach in the class then? Like, well, you know, uh, we are a, a school of management, mm -hmm. a school of business. So the key point uh, is that we teach business analytics. So we teach uh, uh, enough to be aware of how to transform that into information without being uh, and without pushing uh, uh, towards uh, uh, become data scientist, data analyst. So it's uh, definitely for everybody. Uh, we have in class uh, people coming from humanistic background. Yeah. Of course, engineer will get a lot of fun. Computer scientists uh, will get a lot of fun. Uh, for the, the people coming from a humanistic background, of course, the idea is okay. I understand that this is important. If I am a, a communication manager, a marketing manager, that's important. important. You read statistics yeah. about your follower. You read, I mean, yeah. it's important to read the numbers. And so they just get this part without uh, too much effort. Of course, there is a bit of effort, that, like in anything, but accounting is, is not a, a, an effort and so, no. or a pain in the ass for someone. <laughs> so so, so it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's something that, uh, for example, they now, today, they are doing the, the second part of uh, my course. My course is uh, um, about uh, uh, analytics, and uh, now they are doing machine learning. Which is oh, nice. a, a further step, okay? Are you are you teaching machine? Uh, no, I uh, just uh, left uh, the the pleasure to my two younger colleagues. You know, okay. mm, machine learning drives to uh, artificial intelligence. They are young. They are very good. One one of them also study here in in, in India in Bangalore. So, oh nice. Uh, oh, okay. uh, is Italian, but uh, we have a double degree with Bangalore. And so, oh, is it I am Bangalore or some other? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm not sure. We have to ask I him. See. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. great. That's fun. Great. So um, you do this analytics for about uh, some subjects during your MBA. Yeah. And then um, that's clear. Any engineer, non-engineer can do this who is yep. from humanities background. Yep. But a non-engineer is going to struggle his ass off for sure. Well, depending uh, depending which perspective you have. If okay. you have this perspective of being a user yeah. of the data and so the effort uh, is only to understand. I mean, um, you don't need to, to be a 
cricket player to understand cricket. Mm. But you need to understand the rules, yeah. the, the score points and so on. So yeah. This is the idea. You can, be, uh, um, you can face analytics uh, in, in different levels. The more you are fond of analytics, the more you can dig in and mm. become you know, an active, a proactive creator of models and so on. Yeah. The more you want to stay uh, a bit back from this, the more you can be the user. But if you know the rule of the game, mm. this is more interesting. Okay, Excellent. If you are a manager and uh, you don't know what you can ask data scientists, what you can ask data analysts, you will never ask. Mm. You should wait for them to propose, but you are the manager. Oh, super, great. What kind of jobs people can get? Uh, can they get into, like when I was in GEG, -E the division of analytics, and we do predictive analytics, and um, 2009, there was a paper on Google called Predictive Analytics, and we were all going through that paper when I just joined G, and there was one of my, one of my projects as well. But over a period of time, there are so many tools which have come into play as well. So uh, my first question is about what kind of roles we can get post MBA. What kind of corporations are hiring people who've got analytics as a major? Well, minus? clearly the, the IMB is a general management program. It's an MBA, so yeah. basically we are not preparing people to become again data scientists. But uh, if you come to me, I'm not uh, an academic. Uh, I'm uh, a professional, so 50% of my time I run my company uh, and 50% of my time I do research and, uh, and teaching. And so basically you I'm can... I'm curious, sorry, which company do you run? Uh, I have two companies. One company, uh, it's um, a consultant company in analytics. So we okay. just, uh, we just uh, service uh, uh, companies that wants to use the data and that want to create models. And one company is about robotic process... Uh, um, um, robotic process applications, and uh, artificial intelligence. That's, that's uh, cool. The, the, the based on Italy? Yeah. Yes, both on based on Italy. We are working to just uh, open something here in India because, uh, you know, and India is the garden of analytics yeah. because uh, you have um, a lot of investment in analytics. Uh, you have all you need. You have people with uh, um, numerical skills. You have, so it, it's definitely interesting. Going back to your question, so, I mean, depending how much you want to put analytics uh, inside your career. The role could be a general manager or a manager in marketing and sales, let's say, with awareness in analytics. Or you can be more paying attention to analytics and become someone like me, that is, a business analyst, someone who support in business the way you read analytics. Wow, that's a lovely one. So, but analytics is uh, kind of a, I would say, a, a horizontal, yep. which can actually go through marketing, finance, HR of the world. Definitely. Or analytics could be a vertical in itself, where you're actually building something and using it for running the business various functions as well. You uh, can choose, you want to go deeper into the analytics field, then you need to learn R, Python, coding, you can be a data scientist. But most of the MBAs, they think analytics is all about coding. No, it's not. It's understanding all these functions and you can use the skills wherever you want. Definitely. I mean, Super. data is an asset, okay? Money is an asset, human resources is an asset, data is an asset. Yeah. And you use human resources in different parts of the company, you use money in different parts of the company, you use analytics in different parts of the company. Excellent. So, um, moving in forward, so I, I say this to the world on my channel, if I would have my own son, if I'd be married, I would have made him do analytics. Okay. For sure. Because marketing, you can learn later on. You can read Philip Kotler, with due respect to all the marketeers. Finance, CA, CFAs, ICWAs are like good skills in India. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you go and you see Damodaran in New York. You see what? Professor Damodaran in New York. Professor Prof Damodaran uh, in New York, of course, you can do that. But slowly, all these things are taken care by fintech now. You know, all the window dressing, so called the CAs do, things are. Um, are being taken care of. But analytics, if once you know, you're going to be one kid in the room who can actually make sense of the entire company quickly. Yeah? Of course, I mean, uh, when you say something like this to me, I mean, you are opening uh, <laughs> an already open door. I mean, I strongly believe, I started to do this job in 1990. So what? 99? Yeah, 1990. 1990? Yeah, when I got my degree and uh, I have this degree in, uh, let's say, mathematics applied to management. Wow. And I started consultancy and then I joined Bocconi and I strongly believe in what you said. I mean, uh, I strongly believe that uh, 
uh, if you invest your time in analytics. But I can also understand that, for example, I mean, my son, I have a son 26, and my son decided a, a different career. I mean, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a problem. Uh, the point is that uh, in 2025, you can pretend uh, that uh, analytics is not important uh, in, in, in your life because mm. in, in any situation, you have to use uh, statistics, you have to use, in sports, you have to use statistics and analytics. Sports, in, uh, how, how are sports? In sports, because, uh, you know, nowadays, uh, well, think about, well, cricket is, uh, and baseball are definitely the, probably the most statistical uh, uh, sports uh, yeah. uh, in the world, but even in soccer, in uh, European football, I mean, nowadays, uh, uh, companies are investing for analyzing the numbers. So you can choose a player uh, just because, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, the allure of the player, okay, Cristiano Ronaldo, but you can choose the player for, for the number, for the facts. Mm. There is this very famous movie, you know, Moneyball. Moneyball, uh, yeah, yeah. In which yeah. they made this baseball team only yeah. based on statistics. An MIT guy made, and they are doing the same in Milan, AC Milan, the, the yep. team of uh, Milano, one of the two. Uh, invested a lot in the past uh, in uh, just building up uh, a team of uh, uh, analysts uh, to analyze and they made a team. I mean, uh, the, the goalkeeper, Magnan, is a French and it was completely unknown. Yeah. They just discovered him uh, according, to the, uh, according to the numbers. And so, I mean, uh, numbers are very well. Mm. Algorithms uh, that are, uh, uh, for example, suggestion uh, engine of Netflix, uh, yeah. of Amazon, of Flickart, uh, they work yeah. with analytics. They work with analytics because they just get your profile. They just uh, understand who you are through what? Through numbers, through information. Not only numbers, really, information. And uh, imagine how rich can be and how successful can be a company like Netflix that uh, already knows before to produce something, before producing something, they already know the target, they already know the size of the target because that's what is yeah, nowadays so much of data you know yeah. and every movie being built they when they're investing multiple crores or millions now and INR so they know that whether it's going to be movie hit or not you know? definitely you know, yeah. definitely it's so amazing sir I can keep going on this but it's been a lovely conversation any message you have for all these 2021 year old kids who are listening to us um, you know who are like kind of confused with their career should I should I not um, should you do an MBA or MBA not? Should you pick up analytics as a career or not? What kind of advice you want to give to the all these kids who are focusing on their careers right now? Oh, <laughs> tough question. <laughs> tough question. Well, um, doing an MBA, let's start from the broader, uh, let's say, doing an MBA or not. Well, th this depends uh, um, what, you want, what you want to do with your life. I mean, uh, uh, clearly an MBA, an IMB, the, our IMB, it's a boost for a career. So uh, clearly, uh, also the placement part and so on, it's, it's definitely a boost. Uh, in my opinion, what an MBA gives to you, it's more awareness of uh, what you can do. Hmm. Because, you know, you, you, you are uh, going on from the university, from the bachelor, for, uh, from the master's, with uh, probably knowledge, but... Uh, most of this is theoretical knowledge. Uh, in an MBA, you just uh, start to touch and uh, you are definitely more prepared for what is going to happen mm. in, in your life. So uh, it's uh, definitely a way to boost your career. Clearly, your career must be uh, somehow oriented in management. Yeah. Because uh, clearly that's our... Uh, and of our course, fast growth, fast pace, more money. Well, yes and no. I don't know whether this is, uh, I mean, whether we can measure a strong correlation. Let me talk as a, a professor. <laughs> well, whether we can measure such a strong correlation. And, you know, in financial time rankings, for example, one of the column is uh, salary in, salary out, delta salary and so on. Okay, that could be an aspect. But in my opinion, I've been also the director of uh, the executive MBA in Bocconi, the global executive MBA. In my opinion, it's about yourself. It's about becoming more aware of what you can do, becoming more sure of yourself, and of course, find opportunities that maybe by your own uh, are not so easy to find because of clear, clear the placement and so on. It's, uh, mm. it's definitely offering you opportunities. So yeah. it's, and money, then, you know, money comes, no, money comes, I mean, as a consequence. You know? See, if we put effect, cause and effect. I disagree. When we are young, we need money. 
my mom, my mom always says, now you got money, now you guys are talking things. I don't want this, I don't want that. Follow your passion. When you didn't have, when you don't have money, when you just starting your career, you're like twenty twenty one, and then these guys, you know what I mean? No, no, you're, you're right. <laughs> but it, in my opinion, that's of yeah. course uh, an opinion. Uh, which is, of course, leveraged on, uh, on my 30 or more years in teaching in yeah. business. If you do an MBA only because your target is to gain money, yeah. I don't know if your motivation is enough. Maybe there could be someone that mm. is so much motivated about money. Mm. If you do an MBA because uh, your motivation is to um, improve, is to become better, then the consequence will be you will gain more money. Mm. Because, uh, I mean, think about what, what you do. Now, now you are really very expert in what you do. You are very... Uh, and, and this has been made by yourself. With, uh, in, in an MBA, you boost this. Mm. Because someone is telling you, okay, in order to be successful, in order to be right in your decision, so you have examples, so you, you just shorten... Your, uh, your time to market yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, in this way. Try, uh, in entrepreneurship also it helps. All right, this is lovely. All right, boys and girls, do it the like button for sure and tell me in the comment section what did you like the most and if you have any more questions regarding analytics, is analytics the right field for you? Type in your profile. Are you an engineer? Are you non-engineer? Arts, commerce, which background you guys are from? Type in your 10th, 12th percentage and we'll have a discussion about analytics. Thank you so much, sir. Thank really, you. Really, really pleasure to have you on board, sir. My Thanks, pleasure. Sir. See you in the comment section, boys and girls, and do hit on the like button. Take care. Bye.